Okay, so we're officially recording. Today, you are taking the Inventor's Secret Quiz, which is on HMH at your friend and learning website. So, as soon as my screen gets ready to share, we're going to go over the quiz questions together. There's only five questions, not hard. You know, well, I mean, there's only five questions, not too bad. Um, but I'm going to, before you take your quiz, you're going to reread the story and you can use the story to help you on the quiz. I want you to use your resource, which is the story. I want you to do your personal best. What? It's the inventor secret. I literally have said that like four times and it's on the screen in front of you, bud. So you're going to be able to reread your story. Um, I'm going to start sharing my screen in just one second. And then after you finish your quiz and reading your story, the score automatically comes to me. So you don't have to email it to me. Or if you're in class, you don't have to show it to me. No big deal. I will automatically get it and I will put it right in power school. One fun thing about HMH is that it tells me how long you took on your quiz. So if you took one minute on your quiz and you didn't do so good, guess what? I'll be putting that in the comments for your parents to see. So take your time. Use your story. That is what it's for. Okay? I want you to do a good job. There's only five questions, which is great. It's so little questions. But that means if you miss one, you're already at an 80%. If you miss two, you're already at a 60%. So it's really important to do your best. I'm going to start sharing my screen here really shortly. You have today to take it, Rainier, but don't start it yet. We're going to go through it. Presley, you had this problem the other day. Go to the link on my Google Classroom. And it is your regular login. You had this problem the other day. And remember, I did it and it worked. So please try again. All right, we are about to share screens. So we can go through the quiz together. That way I know if you have any questions. Also, HMH is fabulous. If you don't want to reread the story yourself, guess what? The, the website will read it to you. So you can totally just have the website read it to you. I want you to do a good job. So please do your best. All right, I'm going to start sharing my screen. So we can go through this together. If you're in class with me, it is on the screen. So you don't have to be on it yet. But like I said, you're allowed to have two tabs open, a tab with the quiz and a tab with the story. Use the story as your resource. That's what it's for. I want you to do a good job. I'm waiting for this screen to share so we can get started. Sorry, it's taking a while. The problem is I have too many tabs open on my screen and I should close some and that would make it move faster, but I need all those tabs. I need them. So each time we read a full length story, we will have a, this is a comprehension quiz, okay? okay? So each time we read a full length story, we will have a comprehension quiz. It's always five questions. Our governments must fund inventors. That was only an article and a short read, so there was no quiz over it. But whenever we read a full story like The Inventor's Secret, we will have a quiz over it. In case you're wondering why we're having a quiz over this but not the other one, that's why. The screen is continuing to be sharing slowly. Thank you, those of you that are joining, those of you that are in class with me. Thank you for being so patient. You guys rock my socks. I will give you guys the code word before we get off as well. The directions will not be that long. As soon as my screen loads, we'll literally only be on this meet for probably five more minutes, and then I'm going to set you off. So it should look like the selection quiz, the inventor secret. All you have to do is press star, and it'll take you to the first question. The first question, if you're in class, look on the board. If you're on my Google Meet, look on the thing. According to the passage, what was Thomas most curious about? It legitimately says it in the story. There is no reason to get this question wrong. Engines, electricity, chemistry, light bulbs. Okay. It is legitimately in the story. Make sure you look at that. Next question is, by the way, you can't normally see next on your screen. You have to scroll down to see next. So just scroll. Don't sit there wondering why it's not going. 
Which statement best describes the relationship between Henry and Thomas in the passage? Does Henry admire Thomas and his adventures? Does Thomas think he's way smarter? Henry and Thomas, do they invent the same thing? Henry is much more successful than Thomas. If you read the story or paid attention, this one should be another easy one, okay? Make sure you're using the story. Question three, this is a vocabulary question. You need to use context clues. The passage explains that Henry was excited about repairing a special engine from England. He was so fascinated with it that he created a model of the engine to see how it works. So what does fascinated mean? Does it mean troubled, confused, surprised, or interested? You're going to decide that yourself. The next question, question four. What evidence from the passage best supports the idea that Henry knew Thomas's secret all along? This is probably the hardest question on here. So what best supports it? Remember, the secret all along was to keep at it and persevere. That was the secret all along. So which one of these questions helps us? Or which one of these questions shows? Oh, wait, I didn't want to click that. Which one of these questions shows that? And the last one. Which one best summarizes the passage? So what is the entire story about? If someone was like, hey, what's the inventor's secret about? Which one of those makes the most sense? And that's it. Those are the five questions. Like I said, I want you to reread your story before you take it, the quiz. I want you to use the, why is this not shutting off? I want you to use the story as a resource that is important to me. I want you to do that. Okay. And like I said, your quiz score goes automatically to me and I can see how long you took on it. Okay. So when mom emails me, if you didn't do very good, I can tell her why you didn't do very good. Hopefully you guys do good. If you use your story, if you do have a question for any reason, please let me know the, um, code. I'm going to tell you right now, that way you can just type it in before you start your quiz. It is tater tots with salt. So the code goes on rotation two or three or one, whichever class you're in. If you're in my homeroom, do not put it in homerooms. Put it on rotation one Thursday. It is tater tots with salt. With salt. Tater tots with salt. And then once you type in the code, you guys can leave my Google Meet and get started on your quiz. After you finish your quiz, my suggestions are to silently read for AR or if you have time, work on your writing assignment, okay? You have 15 days for your writing assignment. Landon, what's up? Oh, okay. You guys are free to leave me whenever. Thanks for joining. Good luck on your quiz. Those of you in here, you can get started reading and then take your quiz when you're ready. Good job, guys.